Can you determine which nail will rust? Only the nail in test tube A has rusted. What causes the nail in test tube A to rust? The nail in the second test tube is exposed to oxygen, but there is no water. The nail in the third test tube is exposed to water, but there is no oxygen. Look at these pictures. What happened to these metals? This is called corrosion. This ship's rudder, which is exposed to sea water, corroded. This statue, which is made of copper and bronze, corrodes when exposed to air and also water from the rain. The silver spoon and fork is tarnished, meaning it is no longer shiny, so the silver has corroded. Corrosion of metal is the attack on the surface of the metal by chemicals in the environment. What happens during the rusting process? Look at this water droplet on this piece of iron. This droplet of water on this piece of metal forms a voltaic cell, meaning it has an anode, cathode and an electrolyte. Iron is oxidized, that is, it loses electrons to form ions. The electrons released by the iron atom flow to the edge of the water droplet where there is plenty of dissolved oxygen. At the edge of the water droplet, the electrons are received by the dissolved oxygen and water to form hydroxide ions. The iron 2 ions and hydroxide ions combine to form iron 2 hydroxide. The iron 2 hydroxide reacts with oxygen and water to form hydrated iron 3 oxide, which is rust. We shall study the effect of some metals on the rusting of iron. The metals chosen are magnesium and zinc, which is more electropositive than iron and the less electropositive copper. Iron and iron metal pair is set up as a control. Study the table that you have filled in. Prevent water and oxygen to come into contact with the iron metal surface. Use of metals less electropositive than iron to cover the iron surface completely. Prevent the iron metal to become the anode and thus prevent the formation of iron to ions. Using metals more electropositive than iron will make the iron metal a cathode instead. Iron to ions will not be formed. Rusting, a form of metal corrosion involving iron, can be controlled by using less electropositive or more electropositive metals. 
Metal cans that are used to keep food such as sardines are made from the iron metal plated with tin. Tin is less electropositive, therefore less reactive than iron. The layer of tin prevents water and oxygen from coming into contact with iron. Gold-plated microprocessor chip uses a thin layer of gold to prevent the copper beneath from corrosion. Gold is the least electropositive metal, therefore less reactive than copper. The thin layer of gold prevent water and oxygen from coming into contact with copper. The magnesium blocks attached to the ship's hull is used to control rusting of iron of the hull. Magnesium is more electropositive, therefore magnesium ions will be formed rather than iron ions. The iron metal will be the cathode and rusting is prevented. The magnesium blocks attached to the iron pipe is used to control rusting of the iron of the pipe. Magnesium is more electropositive, therefore magnesium ions will be formed rather than iron ions. The iron metal will be the cathode and rusting is prevented. In this lesson, you have learned that rusting is caused by both water and oxygen. Corrosion of metal is the attack on the surface of the metal by chemicals in the environment. Droplets of water on iron from voltaic cells, which causes rusting to happen. Rusting of iron involves a series of redox reactions. There are two key ideas that can be used to prevent rusting, a form of metal corrosion, using other metals. 1. Prevent the contact of water and oxygen with the metal. This can be achieved by using less electropositive metals to coat the iron metal. Examples are tin and gold. 2. Prevent the iron metal from becoming ions. Using more electropositive metals than iron will prevent iron from forming ions. Metals such as zinc, magnesium and aluminium may be used.